I'm Les Shaw. And hi, I'm Deb Cormier. Welcome to the Computer Mechanics Reloaded. This week, we're going to take a look at a very devastating issue from you. For you. For me. For you. You've got stuff on your home computer, mm -hmm. and you want to be able to access it, but you're not at home. I think I have found the perfect way. Well, the first solution to this that we're going to take a look at is we're going off to speak to a gentleman. And if you want to introduce him. By the name of Peter Shuffler from Route 1. Hi, Peter. Hey, Les. How are you today? Not too bad. It's just warm where I am. How is it where you guys are? You are. You're, you're at a security conference. Yes, I'm at the RSA conference in San Jose today. Nice. Okay. So nice. as I look out and I see the snow there, I envy where you are right now. Now, yes, the, the, you're, We're the, jealous. <laughs> you're the mobile solution product manager. And can we show the key, Deb, that you yes, have here? we can. The device is called the MobiKey. And, okay. of course, I have my big Intel little But this would go on to so your keychain as well. So yes. as we move, I can move to the next photo. You can mm -hmm. actually see it up here as well. Right, right. Now, what, in, I guess in layman's terms, what does this device do for me, Peter? Looks like a flash drive. What is it, Peter? Well, it's actually, it is a flash drive, um, but it's a flash drive with a uh, smart card reader. Yes. So what we've done is uh, we've taken uh, this hardware from a company uh, called Cobill, um, and we've written some software and uh, developed a uh, managed service, which uh, makes it easy for people uh, to securely, remotely access their their computer, whether it's a home computer, an office computer, uh, a server, uh, whatever uh, uh, Windows PC they'd like to get back to. Okay. And uh, w because we've rolled in um, a security um, system and um, a easy to use interface, it makes it uh, simple and secure, as we say. Right. Now you mentioned ease of ease of use. Well, what exactly do I do with this device to make it work? the device itself. And then you can simply pull that out of your USB port of your host, um, and then you can go to any internet connected Windows PC. So I the, can, sorry? So I can go anywhere. I can go to, uh, you know, if I'm on vacation and I have a computer in front of me with a USB port, I can plug this in and access my machine at home? You've got it. Um, we've had people use this uh, uh, everywhere from China, East Europe, uh, South America, uh, all over the United States, oh, all over no Canada, doubt. and they can get back to computers um, that are anywhere. We have people that, uh, you know, are using a remotely controlling a mm -hmm. computer that's across their room um, while they're sitting in their home office in England, um, and uh, they can just as easily connect to a computer that's um, here in Toronto. Wow. Only no. control that. Let's say that I have more than one computer. I have three computers I want to connect up to or be at least able to access at any given time. Can I store more than just one computer access on this? Yeah, one of the advantages of the solution um, um, that, that we've put together is we allow you to have five computers that you can remotely control. And you don't need to worry about where those computers are. Um, you don't have to worry about whether they're, um, they have a static uh, IP address or mm -hmm. a dynamic IP address, um, where, you know, how they're configured, if they're behind a firewall, all that becomes transparent to the user. Um, we uh -huh. simply, during the provisioning process, you name your computer. So I name mine Peter's office computer, Peter's home mm -hmm. computer, uh, Peter's laptop. And mm -hmm. then when I connect in with my mobile key, say it's from a kiosk, I'm here at the show this week, um, so I'll go use the trade show floor computers. I'll pop my mobile key in, and I type my password in, and it authenticates me, knowing that I am who I say I am, because not only do I have the mobile key, but I know my password. Yeah. And it presents me with a list, and, and there's Peter's office computer, Peter's home computer, Peter's laptop, and I just double click on which one I want. I don't have to worry about where those are and how they're configured. Now, when it comes down to it, what are you looking? Is there a setup fee to get one of these, or do you pay monthly? How does it work for the service? 
Yeah, it's actually a service. It's a service fee. So the, the Mobi Key itself and a year uh, service um, is available for uh, four forty nine. Um, Canadian? Canadian? Yeah, it's a Canadian price. Yeah. Um, and the uh, then after the first year, um, you can you can purchase it in you know year chunks, two year chunks, three year uh, uh, service fee, um, or you can roll your your Mobi Key. Um, service price, you know, if you want to buy the mobile key in three years of service, mm -hmm. there's several different pricing models. Got it. Which, and then we do have volume discounts depending on how many you want to purchase. Uh, so, now, um, what happens, should I carry it back up? It, what happens if something happens to my mobile yeah, key? What, what if easily I, replaced? What if I lose the mobile key or if I run over it with the Jeep or something by accident? <laughs> what happens? What do I do? Um, well, the advantage there is that you have lost no data. Mm -hmm. You haven't taken anything with you. Right. If you lose your Moby key, if I'm sitting here, uh, I, I'm rushing to catch a plane and I forget to pull my Moby key out of the computer, um, or I leave it behind, the Moby key itself has no data on it whatsoever. We would nice. just need to simply replace my Moby key. Um, nice. and, th and that would just mean repurchasing a, a Moby key. Right. Okay. 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 All right. So that kind of covered. Now, what, what would the difference, I guess quickly we have to tie it up, but what would the difference between a hardware solution like this? versus, say, a software solution? Well, the advantages with, with the hardware solution is we give you what's called two-factor authentication. We, we guarantee that you um, you have the, the physical key in your possession as well as knowing your password. So there's two components to the security model. Whereas if it's simply, a say, a website uh, that you're going to visit, somebody could look over my shoulder and get my password. Mm -hmm. So they could just simply go back and visit that website again. and and. Uh, and, and get uh, get to my, my machine, as well as I have to worry about what browser is running on a particular person's computer. I have to worry, you know, do I need to have Java installed? And what the heck is yeah, Java? Yeah. Um, with our solution, we've made it simple. Everything that you need is on the key. When you pop it in, everything you need to run is there. You don't have to worry about what version of software, what version of Windows is on the uh, on the guest computer that you're using. Okay. okay. We've well, actually... I, ha I do have one last question, Peter. If I if I plug this uh, the Mobi key into a machine, say elsewhere, is it going to leave anything on that machine? No, nothing gets written to that computer. Um, we don't install any drivers. We don't install any software. Everything exists on the on the USB flash uh, flash drive on the Mobi key. Nothing gets put onto the computer. Um, so there's no there's no trace of um, your session on on the machine. Nice. That's I think it's written. It's the standard. It's a USB flash drive. So there's a USB flash drive registration that, that happens, but that's just a standard thing but for that's any, it. Um, any any USB device. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, that's great. I appreciate your time. And no uh, we're gonna we've actually plugged the device in as we spoke, and we're gonna take control of Deb's computer now. And uh, enjoy your warm weather, sir. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and Thanks thank a you. lot for having me. Appreciate thank, it. Thanks thank you very, very much. much. You have a good day. Take care, Peter. Okay. Bye. bye bye. And basically, we plugged the device in as we were speaking about it. And what this allows you to do is to securely take control of another computer. Okay? Right. Now, I went in on yours, and I know that you had your casino hotel room up because you wanted to show everybody that. And it's not showing? And it's not showing. Yeah. Now, the one thing is, you'll notice our configuration is a bit that different. Is, that is my machine. That's your computer mm -hmm. right up here as well. Now, you'll that notice is. that your resolution must be set pretty high. It is. It's, because yeah. if I scroll around on the yeah. TV out, which only does 1024 by 768. I'm higher than that. Because we're going to do a whole thing on how to set all this stuff up. Right. We're taking control of your computer. We're going to look at other software to do that as well. Don't you touch anything on okay. my computer. But on your machine, I'm now connected. Yes. But as he, the gentleman had said, Peter had said, mm -hmm. no data is coming from your computer on to this computer. Right, right. Whereas on the internet, every website you visit, the pictures and everything have been downloaded onto your computer. I find We're going to look at more of this too. when we come back. And when we come back, we'll look at faster, like Deb said. See you soon. There's lots happening in Durham Region every day. First local news crews hit the streets to gather news stories relevant to you. From the decisions at city councils to the latest attractions and events. If it's happening in Durham Region, it's on First Local. Weekdays on Rogers Television. You'll see every hit and every miss on the next OHL Prime Time. 
OHL Fever, only on Rogers Television. Hi, I'm Ty Domi of the Toronto Maple Leafs with a word about shutouts. We all want one, and we know it takes a team effort to get a shutout in any sport or with any challenge. This year, the Ontario Community Council on Impaired Driving wants a shutout too. They know it will take a team effort. So whether you're the driver, the passenger, the party host, a parent, or other road user, play your part to prevent impaired driving. OSID Miss Station wants you to arrive alive. Drive sober. Rogers Television continues to bring you the best local programs with brand new episodes of your favorite shows. He can be funny, witty, entertaining, and he definitely knows the right questions to ask. Greg Rist interviews local personalities, bringing you their stories, goals, and inspirations. Meet interesting and successful people living in Durham Region. One-on-one, -on -one, weekdays at 2.30 p.m., only on Rogers Television. back again so I guess the neat thing about this device mm -hmm. that we've plugged into the front USB here okay works better for USB 2 I'm gonna disconnect the device <gasps> and see that we basically lost what we were looking at right. now we're back to our computer yes you can tell us my computer when there's flames popping out of it right so we've got the secure device I'm gonna quickly plug it in just mm -hmm. again so we can show people how we did that because mm -hmm. you could have been watching while we were doing it. Right. The device, that noise there just says, hey look, I found something USB yes. and I've kind of plugged it in. Yeah. So now what should happen is that software should run and mm -hmm. it does, yep. okay? Yep. Now the first thing it does is it comes up and tells me that I have other remote access software. Shouldn't have more than one running, right. but I happen to have another one, a software-based one that we're gonna take a look at, okay? Yes. Now. Do you want to key in your password? Yeah, I'm not telling you. Okay. <laughs> Get away. Okay. All right, so <laughs> now we press enter, and I've it already logs done that. us in. Yeah. There you go. Okay, so then it's going to come up and list mm -hmm. the computers that you have set up. That's right. Now, you've got more than one computer in there. I have two. Okay, so basically this makes I a secure got to connection. Yours yet. No data gets transferred. Right. The other benefit is if you lose the Mobi key, you can get another one. Yeah. And even if somebody plugs that into there, it's going to do nothing for them to access your data. Yeah, because they don't have my password. It hangs out on your keychain. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to exit this. There's settings, advanced settings. Or on your little Intel dude. I, I, pu I put these on my okay. smaller devices. Yes. Because. I would plug that in somewhere and promptly walk away okay. and just leave it behind. I just uh, We'll probably have this at the very end of the show as mm -hmm. well as on our website, but yep. if you want to find out more information about this, you can go to www.root1, right. R-O-U-T-E, and the number one, one. dot com. Mm -hmm. Now, that's a great device, and I see that more as a high-end device, though. It's a high-end device. I see it for device. lawyers, it's, doctors. Yeah, I mean, people that do a lot of traveling for business. People that would, really matter. Yeah, no? but, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, but like, the, that's, that's the type that would truly benefit from the device. Agreed. Now, I have another soft. There's a couple software solutions. What mm -hmm. we're talking about is taking control of your computer from somewhere else. Right. Okay. One way to do that is you can use a program called MSN. And when you're mm -hmm. talking to your friends and family and stuff, you can, if you want to give them remote access, you can actually go into your MSN to whoever you're talking to and give them control of your computer system right. so they can clean up errors and problems yeah, and stuff with it. Yeah, fix minor issues. Now, okay. yeah, one, go ahead. one thing to note about that type of connection is that it, it can be slow. It can be slow. It yeah. really depends on what speed of connection is on either right. side. I find that this is the fastest that I've seen yet. It, it is, mm -hmm. and I agree with that. Yeah. For me personally, though, it's probably too heavily priced. Okay. Right? For so, your own Yeah, needs. for me to be able to take a look at baby pictures on my computer from Jamaica, I'm not sure if I want to spend that. But if I'm a doctor or a lawyer and I go golfing at Pebble Beach, and I want to have to sign back in because I didn't look at that affidavit. Look, I'm using big words. And, you know, yeah, like, where'd you get that? <laughs> so, you know, I want to sign back in and look at that. I can do that from wherever I am, okay. from any internet cafe, mm -hmm, sure. from my wireless network, and the $4.99 per year 
would be worth it to me. Oh, of course. For a guy that wants to sign back in and but it's download only the, grandma's photo. It's, it's only the four ninety nine for the first year because you're you're actually paying for the key, right? I agree. So Yeah, so then it then it's only like fifty dollars a month, isn't it? Yeah, something yeah, you around know, that. And like they said, there's there's pay and I'm not putting it down. one I agree, it is faster, mm -hmm. okay? It's more secure with yes. all the security that's set up in it. Definitely. When it comes down to that, there's another program that can be used called PC Anywhere. Yeah. Similar but not exactly the same as go to my PC which is another service that you can get. Yeah, I haven't and tried the go to my PC. What that allows me to do is, let me just kind of change this. I don't want to mm -hmm. go to anywhere specific. Okay. Um, what that allows me to do then is to actually connect. I'm going to launch this, and it's going to now scan my network mm -hmm. to see if there's any other PC Anywhere machines out remotes. there. Remotes. They're called remotes. Remotes. And once it does find one, hopefully it'll find the front desk one, unless you close it off when you set up the Mobi. Mm, you may have locked me out. No, you didn't. It's there. Now I'm going to click on OK. And what this is now going to do... I had control just for yes. a second. <laughs> it's going to sign me on, and now I have control of my front desk computer. Right. So let's see how speedy yours is. Well, you know what? Really, it's not bad. And I, I think... And now remember, with my setup, I'm going to go full screen. So mm -hmm. what I'm looking at right now is not my computer, right. but the computer across the room Over from there. me. Mm -hmm. Similar idea to you, not right. this computer, but the computer before. Mm -hmm. Now, yours is speedy, give it the fact that it's going out of the building, mm -hmm. all the way to, like, internet land. Through the service. And then come back, yep, yeah, through the service, and yeah. then back in. Yeah. Whereas I'm probably going via my network to right. IP to IP. Right. All that means is that I can see and access and run, mm -hmm. you know, Nero or anything on that front desk machine. Right. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, you know, allow us to do that. Sure. Now, my cousin brought up the fact that if you're running Windows XP Professional, legitimate version, which you actually paid money mm -hmm. for, okay. And if that's the case, there is a remote assistance that you can set up and yeah. still remote, be allowed to sign in to anywhere. Yeah. Remote desktop, I believe it's Remote called. desktop capabilities. And what really got me is it transferred sound. Ah. Now, does the Mobi do sound? Is it, that one of the settings? It doesn't at this point, but it's something that is in progress. They're working on it. Now, one of the things, you don't want to set this stuff up to try and spy on someone. Mm, not good. No, I mean, of course not. Of course basically, not. there are ways that you can tell. Like, there's, a, there's actually a wallpaper on the front desk machine, but when I sign into it via mm -hmm. PC Anywhere, mm -hmm. it then goes blank. Right. So that in the bottom corner, there's normally a little check mark. Yep. And you don't see that. You see squiggly lines. So right. I'm, again, in control. Now, the benefit of that is you'll notice I've now got my computer here and a window here. Mm -hmm. I can have 18 different machines running mm -hmm. on my system. It'll slow mm -hmm. down at some mm -hmm. point. Yeah. But perfect solution for somebody doing IT management. Okay. Again, this one, I would say lawyers, doctors, yeah, have a whole machine, that kind of stuff. For the traveling For person. the traveler, mm -hmm. yeah. So, sure. But for the IT person, a software solution is better. Mm -hmm. Sure. Or my opinion is. Maybe not better. It's really up to what they want to do for their security purposes. Yeah. There is a program that you can download for free called VNC. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if you do a search, you can still download. It's called VNC. It allows you to set up a client, and then you can remotely access it again from anywhere in the world mm -hmm. and you haven't paid for anything right. there's another program called go to my PC you got advertisements galore on the internet yeah. for I it I haven't seen that one there's a monthly service charge for that as oh, well is there? whereas PC anywhere can cost some big dollars to, yeah you have to you buy the, the software initially you know one of the things I like about it is that I can scale this to screen mm -hmm. so now you'll notice that here my screen fits in right I'm not sure if you have that setting on the Mobi uh, Someone we have to look into. There's no need to do it. It's okay. All there. It's it, that's the way it comes up. It, it doesn't and, hide. But anything. when I was here, I couldn't move around and so forth. Yeah, that's output to TV. Okay. On your monitor, it was fine. All right, but you can see then. Then you can pull up an invoice, mm -hmm. right? Look at an invoicing mm -hmm. system. Close that off. Sure. You know, again, a, a great way for someone to work from home. Either mm -hmm. the Mobi, PC Anywhere, go to my PC, or, or VNC. free program is VNC. Right. For fun, why not? Why not? Call up a stranger and give them remote access to your computer Why? using no. MSN. No, no, don't don't be doing stuff. Don't like be that. doing Why stuff are you like telling that. people to do stuff like that? You know, I said earlier to a friend of mine that friends don't let friends fix their computers That's because it. normally they're not friends afterwards. Yeah. We've seen where computers have literally just yeah. died in yeah. front of us, and they're not fixed. Now, you you had something you wanted me to pull up, something that you wanted me to look at. Oh yeah, and Tim to do on the that, message board. 
um, had posted a link to. Um, yeah. Look at well, the cute puppy. Yeah, just cute puppy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he had posted a link to a show or a video that showed uh, uh, touch screens. Okay. And where they're going with touch screens. It was different than touch wow, screens. Wow, so we're, we're talking about real monitors and, and moving around the monitor yeah. and so forth. It yeah. was a video that was actually there. Yeah. Now, we weren't signed on to this one, so. I will quickly sign on. This is our website, yes, but this quickly. is not the color that it should be today, is it? No, it's supposed to be pink. <laughs> because Valentine's we shot Day. this on Valentine's. Yeah, oh, look what you did. I keep my password in correctly. <laughs> we will show you that touch screen and uh, kind of go from there. But let me, again, try it again. Log in. Come on, you can spell your name. <laughs> I know. Point. <laughs> You can I, spell I, I your almost name. like repeated there my password go. as we're doing the show. No, 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 no. We will take a look at this when we get back. Yeah. And uh, see that touch screen, and you've got a little puppy dog to show us today. I do. Woof, woof. When we get back, we'll talk to you then. Located north of Bowmanville, the Tyrone Mill was built in 1846, powered by a pond in the backyard. Well, we're still water powered. We, we have a five acre mill pond behind and we use a turbine in the basement and all our machines uh, run off that with belts, pulleys and line shafting. After making $50 his first year grinding feed, Robert Schaefer decided to concentrate on the lumber business. When he bought the mill in the 1970s, he completely transformed its original operation. Uh, we make our own flooring, our own moldings, our uh, own paneling, so we've kind of expanded that business. For the mill's 150th anniversary, Schaefer was able to get the millstones going again and restore the mill's tradition. He can be funny, witty, entertaining, and he definitely knows the right questions to ask. Greg Rist interviews local personalities, bringing you their stories, goals, and inspirations. One-on-one, -on -one, weekdays at 2.30 p.m., only on Rogers Television. Your world right now, only on Rogers Television, Durham Region. Deb and I most rightly know things don't always go the way you plan. <laughs> so we, don't. we went to play the video and I got to load something. But you messed up. Deb went out and she did not blow her $100 budget. No. Okay. I did not. But purchased something which is somewhat useful but somewhat not useful. What's it's, it's it's not it's useful. For fun. But it's just so cute. I had to have them. It is a Puppy it's, dog webcam. It is. And okay, so let's pull them out. Yeah. Let's pull yeah. them right out of there. Yeah, yeah. Here he comes. Now we tested out this Tear webcam. Into that. This webcam is gonna run you retail. I'm gonna say what? Anywhere about about thirty five bucks. About thirty five dollars. Yeah. And there he is. Out of his nose comes a webcam. Yes. And he's posable. Yes. He's now I'm all for anything. Legs posable. all move. Yeah, they bend, the knees yeah, bend. Legs move. I kind of thought it would be kind of neat with this That's one to put it right hanging there. over your LCD monitor so that it kind of points down at you if you're on the web. I mean, basically, that's what people do. Right, right. Now, do you have the cable there by chance? I didn't bring the cable with me, but basically the cable just plugs into that little hole in his bum. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> I was going to say. So that's where the cable goes. Yeah. Yeah, there's a couple drawbacks about this program, though. This cam? Yes. Go ahead. Well, one Go ahead, of them, pick my puppy apart. Okay, one of them, that the camera is probably the size of the head. So you could have got away with just the head for a nice size camera. But, but I don't instead, want just a puppy head. <laughs> they put all the different body parts onto this. I want legs on my puppy. But there's no microphone. 
Yeah, there's no microphone. You know what? I would have said perfect place for a microphone would have been right where his mouth is. In his chinny chin chin. Or when in his chin. <laughs> How about in his tail? Or you know somewhere like that, that or worked. somewhere where you could use a microphone. That the camera worked. quality, I was quite surprised, wasn't that bad. But look, even even his ears move. Okay, <laughs> as I said, you know, for cosmetics, for. People like this kind of stuff. Oh, it's just you too know, cute. It's too cute. I bought my speakers years ago because they were eggs. They look like eggs, mm -hmm. right? This is a puppy. Great for so dog lovers. Eggs are well. cute. Puppies are cute. Yes. Okay. Anyway, so I just wanted to show people my puppy cam. You use this? You use it on MSN? Yeah. Okay. We even though we sit apart from each other, I could see you on your computer. Yeah. The quality picture wasn't that bad. <laughs> like this far apart. If you got a good life. microphone on your system, something like this would do the trick. Yeah. For webcams. Yeah. Now. Now, because we're going to have to show that beautiful video that you wanted to show probably next week, no. I would like to show. So you failed. My webcam. Okay. All right. Show off your webcam. Okay. So my webcam, we have to look up. I bet it's not as cute as mine. We've got to look up here, because this webcam, I think it is. I think it's a wonderful blue. There's the cam. Now you put any kind of camera on you want. We oh, actually, that cam. We had this on the show. I would say going on five years ago, mm -hmm. where the gentleman that developed this product actually came on the show and they gave us two of these webcams. Right. Well, the, Not, tr yeah, the, the tracker trackers. pod. It's called yeah. the tracker the pod. The pedestal that it's on. Now, what I did was I set this up so that it would run online mm -hmm. on a server. Now, you could probably somehow screw the puppy dog onto the tracker cam to you're be not, used. You're not putting holes in my puppy. Okay, well. He does not. We're looking at lights right now. Now, if we keep an no. eye on the tracker pod, somehow we got to keep an eye on it. You'll notice I can move the tracker pod around. And I can now take video of place. And I heard cool coming from the audience. Cool, yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. Ooh. So, <laughs> oh. Now, the neat thing about this is I can increase the size of the photo. Ooh. Okay, I can move around. Take a look at certain things. I'll try and get over. Okay. Try harder. I didn't lock it up. <laughs> I can try and move it over to different areas. Wee! Wow. There's there's my brother. Hi, John. <laughs> and there is, and now he's saying something. That's Joe. There's Joe. Yeah. Okay. I can zoom in. Yeah. And now the neat thing about and that's this. That's Owen. That's Owen. Yeah. That's Owen. Man. There he is. There you go. Hi, Owen. <laughs> I like how you can zoom in. I mean, quality is based on how good your, oh, your look camera at that. is. Oh, bright I hit, light. I hit the lights. <laughs> oh, bright light. When we come back next week, we're going to talk about this and so much more. We'll see you then.